Welcome to Medical Moron. Circumcising is the removal of foreskin from the penis. It's a common procedure in the US and some other parts of the world. Most times it's done when boys are less than a few weeks age, while mother's clotting factors are still relevant. There is studies to suggest doing a circumcision after the age of seven may cause premature ejaculation later in life. Not doing it increased the risk of penile cancer. A study here, a study there, who knows? Let's break it down before we cut it down. Dad says remove it, mom says no. Who's correct? For some, it's a religious ritual, a tradition, personal hygiene or preventative health care. For others, it seems wholly unnecessary or even disfiguring. So why do it? Well, the health benefits may be hygiene, decreased urinary tract infections, decreased sexually transmitted diseases, no phimosis, phimosis being a stricturing of the foreskin on the head of the penis, this causing potential penile cancer in the future, and also potential for losing your penis if it constricts too much. Sounds like dad wins this one. But wait, not so fast. The risks are very rare. In fact, regarding the penile cancer, one in a 100,000. And if you take care of Mr. Turtlehead, no problems, right? Hmm. I'm thinking mom and dad need to talk before taking anything sharp to little Johnny. Okay, so mom relents. Let's take a little deeper look. After all, it may not be an option. If the baby is more than 14 days, the mother's clotting factors may be starting to diminish. Maybe the little soldier is holding out in the NICU after a tough run the, down the gauntlet. Perhaps a birth anomaly prevents the procedure. Risks. Okay, again, these are rare, but need to be recognized. The foreskin may be cut too long or too short. Okay, I'd say this is about right. This is a well-circumcised penis. Cucumber. Now, are one of the risks, maybe the foreskin was cut too long. That's a risk that can happen and potentially have, having to be a redo surgery. Or maybe it's too short. Now you got a disfiguration. These are things that can happen and may heal improperly. If it's you pursuing the circumcision, your risks may be more involved including entire body systems, pending your overall health condition. Your surgeon will explain the pros and cons to you. So procedure, for a newborn, they lie in their supine position, this you know. Supine is on your back, arms can be out like this, or for a newborn, they're very likely like this. They're restrained, the penis is cleansed, Anesthesia is injected to the base of the penis. It's injected here, causing a block or liberally applied a cream. It's clamped and cut. Afterward, a topical antibiotic or petroleum jelly is applied. Procedure usually takes about 10 minutes. The teen or adult would receive general anesthesia and recovery is usually longer. Post-surgical, it takes about seven to 10 days to heal. The penis will be sore, will be red, swollen, or bruised. It's usually okay to wash the penis as it heals. Change the dressing with each diaper change and make sure to apply petroleum jelly to the tip, preventing it from sticking to the diaper. Watch for normal urination. It should be back within eight to 12 hours post-surgery. Persistent bleeding, 
foul smelling drainage or if the plastic ring was used and it remains in place after two weeks you need to call your surgeon I'd like to leave you with this it was difficult video to do not for the information but because people had so many strong feelings about this subject I hope it helps you to be a little bit more informed this information is good information please share this video to your Facebook friends and subscribe this becomes my motivation you'll not want to miss the next few weeks videos we share a few secrets and you're gonna find this quite interesting I'm sure this is an accurate representation of my cucumber hey sorry how do you say goodbye in Korean? I can't translate into Korean yet. Hmm. Hey Siri, how do you say goodbye in Irish? I can't translate into Irish yet. Oh my god. Hey Siri, how do you say goodbye in Norwegian? I can't translate into Norwegian yet. Hey Siri, what can you translate into? Sure, translate into which language? Okay. Arabic, German, That's Spanish, it, huh? okay. French, Italian, Japanese. Hey Siri, how do you say goodbye in Auf Wiedersehen? <laughs>